Good morning folks, it's now 10 to 9. Daniel and myself have just got into the blind here in the hopes of getting a pig today. There's a couple of big boars that are coming in here that have not the greatest tusks and obviously we want to breed the stuff that's got the really nice stuff. So this is going to be a meat hog which uh, we're going to supply to a very good friend of mine called Clay Nyan. I'm sure he'll be chuffed for it. So the wind is not great today. The wind is blowing sort of uh, more towards the, the feeding area than what it is blowing towards the blind. So we'll see what comes in. There are two big boars here that we hope to get. So we'll check and see what happens. Remember to stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe down below.
<laughs> Why are you smiling like that, boy? So Daniel and myself got into the blind here probably at around uh, 10 to 9. Um, it is now a little past 10 o'clock. It's uh, 2 minutes past 10 to be exact. And the water dogs that came in probably about quarter past 9 and the wind has been absolutely horrid here. It's Stuff's been blowing in and out of here all day. It's been a little bit hectic. And uh, Daniel's been stoking the donkey poo here to keep it going to try and keep our spell down. And um, there was a really big sow here with uh, three little piglets. The one little piglet's got a broken leg. But he seems to be doing well. Seems to be fat and healthy. So Daniel and myself we're getting ready to shoot the sow because uh, Daniel's patience in the blind is <laughs> not that great and uh, he was starting to get a little bit noisy and you know just small things like moving the chairs in here makes a big noise so I put him on to um, stoke up the donkey poo a bit and two big boars came in and uh, I must have drawn on these boars maybe five or six times and uh, we haven't had any luck yet and then all of a sudden there came an opportunity the one ball chased the other ball and there was a little bit of an opportunity there anyway we put in a great shot here um, I think it was probably a little bit higher than what I wanted to but I would suspect that looking at the footage the pig probably rolled out of the shot straight pass through so I'm glad that I didn't shoot when they were basically behind one another and uh, we heard the pig do a death run just to the left of the blind here um, so it was quite an exciting hunt. What do you say, Daniel? Huh? Come stand here where everyone can see you. I think from Daniel's perspective, it was quite an exciting hunt to be out here and to experience this with his dad. I said to him, watch the piggies. <laughs> we put an arrow through. So it was, it was quite a cool experience. I'm shooting um, 680 grains of arrow, Cirrus Orions. Um, I'm running my Matthews with my new Bloodline strings. This is my Matthews Atlas. And uh, we heard that, that pig do a death run. So I'm sure we're going to go and find a whole lot of broken trees and branches and stuff there. So thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure to bring you guys stuff. Remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.